Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic production pearl of the week. You are losing patience. Okay, I said that to get your attention. You are losing patience and you may not even know about it. There's a whole body of research I'm doing on a concept I call the invisible. The invisible are those things that either aren't being measured or can't be measured. Examples, you're losing patients who call your office to make an appointment as a new patient for a consult, but something triggers them and they don't make it. You're losing patients who call your office to make an appointment for a consult and they make the appointment and then they cancel it. You're losing patients that call your office to make an appointment for a consult and then they don't show up, hence we call it a no-show. And instead of evaluating it and adding them up and checking on why this is happening, we often just blame the patient for not showing up. Maybe we do a follow-up call or text, we're done with them, it's over. And that's on the new patient. Where else are you losing opportunity in the invisible? Overdue D-bonds that are pure overhead. How many do you have? What's the percentage? How much are you over? It all comes down to evaluating the key drivers of the practice. New patient consults, starts, moving the patient through the process, customer satisfaction, beautiful smiles, debonding. If we can do that regularly, well, no, we're not done. There's also this thing called referral marketing. And in orthodontics today, the world is getting much more competitive. And honestly, a lot of consumers out there, we call them patients, are getting confused. Should I go direct to consumer? That feels inexpensive. Should I go with an Aspen Dental at $19.99 and they've got their own name for their aligners? Should I go with a Smile Brands that has constructed an arrangement with a major aligner company and they're one of the biggest DSOs in the country? Should I let my general dentist do it uh, because they're now doing aligners? And remember, not all general dentists, 70% are not doing aligners. And, or should I go to an orthodontist? And what exactly is an orthodontist? Do I know that they had two or three extra years of school to become specialists? Or are they really just dentists who only do orthodontics? So a lot of referral marketing is also about building the brand, driving the brand, communicating the marketing messages. So this is a general pearl this week of things you should be thinking about. I hope I said something where you said, ah, I'm going to check on that. I'm going to look into that. If I said one thing that you go check on and evaluate and possibly uh, make some improvements, then this has been a great practice ortho production pearl of the week. And I hope I've done that for you. As always, I wish you increased production and referrals every year.